I for one could definitely say I'm glad I'm part of this timeline because if I was a someone back then and I was reading those lyric videos and listening to those songs, I would have been a mess. I, I would have been a mess. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry for such a long wait on this one. Probably should have waited till after the holidays to post part one so we wouldn't have to wait between part one and part two. But we had some surprise visitors here at the house and it just became really difficult to record for like a whole week and a half. But we're back and we've got some unfinished business with Girls' Generation and the Holiday Night album. Really enjoying the album so far. In fact, pretty much every song that we listened to in the first part made it to the playlist. So we're hoping for that to continue. We got four more songs to get to. We're starting off with Sweet Talk. So let's get right to it. Girls' Generation, Holiday Holiday Night Album Part 2. Oh, okay. Mm. Yep, sure have. Hot the spiciness in this album especially with sweet talk in particular that one I, I feel like stepped it up another notch i kind of wish that one had an mv actually because that would have been interesting <laughs> anyways next up we got love is bitter love is bitter There's no bit, no bite. Oh, 
I love the writing. Okay, yo, Yun. Classy feel with the brass, charming champagne. Hey. Everybody got to shine on this one. Stylistically, maybe not a lot of people are gonna be feeling Love is Bitter, but like lyrically and composition and, and vocally, <laughs> especially, it's a very good song. Like that's maybe low key top 10, Girls' Generation. They have so many great songs, but I think I can pretty confidently say it's top 10, Girls' Generation. I don't know, maybe not a lot of people are gonna agree, are gonna agree with me on that. Okay, it's you. It's you. That was cute. <laughs> that was really cute. Mm. So sweet and smooth. Ad libs. 
beautiful eyelids. I was, I was thinking on what Pink Ocean meant. Is this a song about Soul One? Is this another Soul One song? on with the little jazzy ending it sounded like i good mix of high energy and emotional songs in this album <laughs> and uh from what some of you guys have said from the first part and from some of what i'm reading from this part <laughs> it sounded like they probably had every intention for this to be the last comeback and i'm not sure what between then and now changed for them to come back with forever one but happy they did obviously <laughs> but uh yeah it definitely seemed like they were gearing up towards this being the end anyways Light up the sky, last one on the album. Ooh. Thinking about you, all the time is on me. Nan Joman, Nala, Jinge, Opsa. Ooh. Mm. Wow. Yeah. The sky. Oh. Pionanen gosun. Sesange manchi bar. Yongoni bianchi anengo. Through the we saw. Abogati man. And you were right. Oh. 
Love that part. Ended really abruptly, and I was in a mood. Like even with years later, Girls' Generation back <laughs> made a comeback. It's hard not to get emotional. There's some either bad translations or mistranslations in there, but I, I got the message from the song. Obviously, I for one can definitely say I'm glad I'm part of this timeline <laughs> where we have Girls' Generation back in our lives. Because if I was a someone back then and I was reading those lyric videos <laughs> and listening to those songs, I would have been a mess. I don't know how you guys survived through that time. That would have been, that would have been rough. Because reading that, feeling what I'm feeling right now, I definitely don't want to be in a world where <laughs> we don't have girls, gen girls generation active in making music. That is a bleak existence. I do not want to be a part of it. Even with all the sadness and the emotions, a fantastic album, so beautiful. The writing, especially in the last couple songs, was just gorgeous. For those over on Patreon, we I just put up uh, part two of the Into the New World concert, their first Asia tour. Their performance of Chocolate Love, by the way. <laughs> I had forgotten all about Chocolate Love until they performed it <laughs> in that concert, and now I don't think I'll ever forget. But we're really enjoying that over on Patreon. And of course, uh, if you didn't know, I have the whole first season of Such Tom Tom on there as well. And we're gonna continue to do other variety show stuff and concerts and stuff over there. Anyways, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.